Hi, boys and girls. Well, we just read a story about an island that harnessed the wind as a renewable energy source to help make items run on their island. Things like electricity and creating fuel from the canola oil and also using biomass like the straw to burn so that they could all heat their homes and cook and have lights. Well, we're going to make one of the symbols they used on their island. And in your supplies, you'll have a pencil, you'll have a push pin, and you will also have a piece of paper that looks like this. Here's what you need to do. Well, this white piece of paper is nice, but it would be more interesting if it was colorful. So I took my white piece of paper and I turned it into a more colorful design. And because I know I'm going to be folding some of these pieces over, I decorated the back as well. Can anyone tell me why I used this group of colors on this side and the name of this group of colors I used on that side? Yeah, you're right. These are the cool colors and these are the warm colors. The next thing I need to do is now cut this out following the dotted lines. So that's what I'm going to do. So hold the phone. All right, now I've cut out my big square. But if you look closely, there are some dotted lines that I have not cut yet. And I have to remember I'm only supposed to cut on the dotted lines. And I can see that these dotted lines stop about halfway down the page. So I'm only going to cut that far. All right, here I go, taking my scissors and remembering that when I get to the end of the dotted line, I need to stop. So I'm not cutting all the way to the black dot, I'm cutting halfway. And the same down this one, the same on this one, and the same on this one, only cutting halfway. Now I have triangles that are all still connected in the middle, but halfway down is where I stopped. Then this is the tricky part. I need to take on some of the corners, you'll see a little circle. And take that circle, match it to the dot in the middle, and pinch it. Take my next little circle, match it to the middle, and hold it. Take the next little circle, match it to the middle, and hold it. Take the next little circle to the middle, right here, whoops, sorry, and then hold it. Now, I'm holding all of those pieces in the middle. I'm going to get my push pin and I'm going to stick it through. Hopefully, I won't pick my, poke my finger like Sleeping Beauty when I do it. And there it is right there, sticking right out the back, right there. Then I'm going to take that push pin, I'm going to stick it into the eraser of my pencil and stick it in, not all the way tight, but quite a way in. And now I have a pinwheel and I can use this to catch the wind. Let's see if I did a good job. <gasps> yep, it spins. So now I can catch the energy of the wind and use the wind's force to turn my pinwheel. All right, scientists, it's your turn to try and harness or catch the energy of the wind and use its force to turn your pinwheel. And maybe you need to watch the video again just to make sure you got the directions just right. Okay, have fun blowing.